<laughs> oh, fun. <laughs> uh, I really like these like single line handoffs. It makes it like this section like really unpredictable and really fun to listen to because we go straight for Moonche. Like every member, it's just like bam one line, bam one line. <laughs> what? I've never heard someone speak Korean like they're speaking Spanish until right now. <laughs> I've never heard that before in my life, dude. That's wild! Welcome to my palace, champagne in your chalice. Even I'm not single fall out of me, tell that a voice so we can to deep, rolling around the world. Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is Zenobi Warrior and welcome back to my K-pop reaction channel and today we have a more Le Seraphim. Uh, this is the part two to my Unforgiven album reaction. Uh, we're, of course, not reacting to the songs we've already reacted to, um, but in the previous part one, uh, we did No Return, Eve Psych, uh, and Fear Not, um, and then this part is Flash Forward, Fire in the Belly, and then we'll do a track ranking of the new songs. I don't think I'm going to rank them against the previous songs. Uh, I'm not ready for that. Maybe one day. <laughs> Maybe one day, okay? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. To compare anti-fragile, impurity is fearless, I believe, I'm not ready to do all that right now, okay? We're, we're sticking to, I'm treating this as kind of a mini album, because it's like six new songs, right, if you count the intro, so it's like, no, it's seven new songs if you count the intro, so, um, anyway, so, yeah, there will be a track ranking at the end of this, but it'll only be the new songs, because I can't, I can't right now <laughs> with that, um, but yeah, I really have enjoyed the the three songs, so well, the four songs so far. Unforgiven is my song of the year this year uh, already. It just, I think it, it jumps in front of Cherry Coke, which is the previous leader, I think. Um, absolutely incredible song uh, on repeat until I started reacting to this album, basically. Um, but yeah, this is Flash Forward. Uh, let's jump in. Oh, let's let me look at the credits, actually. Hold on. I forgot to do it on the last one. Um, which would have been a really important time to do it because everyone had writing credits on the last one. It's a Phantom song. I regret not saying that. But no, no member credits on the last two songs. So I pulled it up um, and then ended up failing. Anyway, let's go. Flash forward. Ooh. That lived. That vibrato is so. Oh, that's so nice. The opera singer, the opera singer, jumps out real quick. Cute. The low, the like low, like echoed refrain of uh, Unstoppable, Impossible, like descending. That's weird. I'm really, I'm digging this though. It's kind of chill. Yunjin's <laughs> voice! Ruby. 
Oh, oh fun. <laughs> uh, I really like these like single line handoffs. It makes it like this section like really unpredictable and really fun to listen to because we go straight from Unche. Like every member, it's just like bam one line, bam one line. Well, Unche is finishing the, the like chorus, and then it's like bam one line, bam one line, bam one line, bam one line. So it's like whoa, everybody's voices and all this cool stuff. And then Sakura tags in, Chaewon jumps in. I love these slides. Uh, Zuha sounds really good on this song. That's a real that's a fun chorus. Like I said, they're using uh they're doing a great job using everybody's voices, which are all pretty distinct in this group. Um really cool. I think one of the coolest things about La Seraphim is how distinct all the voices are. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, Che Che on the song. Ooh, ooh, that was like, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. Miss Ma'am. That's great. This is really fun. That's really pretty. That's really fun. That's super chill. I I really enjoy that. <laughs> I really enjoy that. Um, at the start, I wasn't immediately sold. Um, honestly, because it it's pretty repetitive instrumentally, which is kind of what I was worried about. But this absolutely goes in. Yes, K-pop. It goes in the rotation. Absolutely. Um, yeah. That. So I I was worried it was gonna get too repetitive but the like tagging in who's doing which lines there's a lot of switching which member has which part but it's like the same line nothing changed except it's somebody else's voice um i think that really really carries the song because it's like oh this part was cool oh but it's kazuha doing this part oh but it's unche doing this part oh but it's sakura you know what i mean so i think it actually really really did a lot to carry the track from being too repetitive. Um, and then as we went on, we kind of added more and more little vocal harmonies and refrains and little uh, ad-libs. Um, so a little bit of riffing at the top and a little bit of a couple of weird little harmonies in the bottom. Like really, really cool, really fun. Um, and it won me over. Like I think by the second chorus, I think like through the first chorus, I was like, okay, I like this, but where does it go? Because I could get sick of it. And then by the second chorus, my mind had changed, and I was like, I'm having a really good time listening to this. 
that's how I feel after the first listen. I'm excited to hear it more. I really do like that one. That's fun. On to the final song, tragically, in this album reaction slash track ranking. Uh, Fire in the Belly, hell of a name. Will this will this be intense? Uh, so far we have mostly chill and or feel good from the new songs. So obviously Burn the Bridge is really interesting as an intro. And then we have Unforgiven, which is just badass, bam, in your face. That's right. We're going to let this bass ride. We're going to pop off. Um, no Return is like fun, pretty upbeat, uh, but rock elements. And then we get really intense again. So is this a final spot of intensity to close? Or is it more chill? Is it going to go rock again? I don't know. But here we go. Fire in the belly. Okay. Okay. That riser, though. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so this is this is none of the previous things that I talked about. I was like, it might be this, it might be that. No, it's it's Latin flair. We've got some Latin dance elements very strongly in this. Okay. Okay. I mean, it is intense, I guess, but not like aggro intense so far. But yeah, a Latin dance, which I guess considering obviously reggaeton made its way into their into anti fragile. Oh, dude, Kuda sounds insane on this. Oh my gosh, her tone. Whoa. Wow! The roll together of syllables there. Yunjin! <laughs> what? I've never heard someone speak Korean like they're speaking Spanish until right now. I've never heard that before in my life, dude. That's wild. I've no how? It's like it's all in like the pacing and the like where you're leaning on the syllables and the spacing and everything, right? But that's insane. Oh, here comes actual Spanish. Mm. The big slide in there, too? Wow! Wow, that trail off is gorgeous! This is not how I expected this album to end. Dude, Taewon is saucy. She is saucy on this song. Hey, that's part one being done rendering. Taewon is saucy on this song. I'm rewinding Zua's whole verse. This is wild. This is wild. Sang Ooh, ooh, that cadence. Ooh, ooh, Chewon. Chewon got me feeling some type of way. Oh, 
That's crazy. This pre-chorus is fun. Ooh, the bell. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, that's so sassy on this. Love the choral vocals from them. <laughs> Not the ole ole repeat. What? <laughs> Oh, Hyunjin! I love you so dearly. I love you so dearly. I love your voice so much. Mi amor, sarange. That's 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 my re reaction to the song. My heart. <laughs> Oh boy! Wow! Was not expecting to Olay today! These vocals are insane. These are insane. Wow. Uh, I'm out of breath. Wow. If you sat still listening to that song, I don't know what's wrong with you. Okay. Um, that's insane. <laughs> that's insane. Okay, so it is intense. So we do have spots of intensity kind of through spread throughout still, right? Like when you look at how this is arranged. Uh, first of all, that's incredible. I love that song. <laughs> I love that song. That is shocking uh, how much I like that. Um, fire in the belly. Indeed, there is a fire in my belly after listening to that. Um, wow. That is... That is... I can't believe they closed their album with that. Uh, what was I gonna say? I'm out of breath. I'm very fat, if you didn't notice. Um, I moved that much, it's a problem, Like That is crazy. I mean, it's cool because, like, obviously, like I said, they borrow very heavily from reggaeton, uh, in their last title track. Um, so, it's- and that's on this album as kind of like a repackaged compilation- so it makes a lot of sense to have another song with Latin dance elements, not reggaeton, but more, more Latin dance elements into your into one of the B-sides. I just kind of forgot all about that, probably because I didn't react to Anti-Fragile as part of this album, because I just doing the new songs. But I was not prepared for that to hit at the end of this project. Wow. Um... Yeah, the way I see this, at least the new tracks, it's like moments of intensity sprinkled throughout some very calm, very cool sounds. So it's like we have Burn the Bridge, which is cool, okay? Burn the Bridge is cool. Um, it's a really sick intro. Still sad there's no drum and bass, really, in any of these songs, but because I feel teased by Burn the Bridge's drum and bass, but that's okay, it's really good in there. So burn the bridge, drum and bass, and at two and a half minutes, it it does feel more like a proper song than some of the other intros. Like it actually does feel like a song I would listen to more than just an intro. I feel like um, it is their best intro by far. Uh, and then we have Unforgiven, which is like I said my song of the year personally already after just a few listens. Um, we have No Return, um, which is a calm down uh, kind of fun. It's high energy, but it's not insane aggressive. And then we have something that is, it's an insane, sleek, sexy club banger. 
and then we have a really pretty fan song, kind of a rock ballad. And then we get Flash Forward, which is another kind of calm, cool spot, kind of groovy, just going, some pretty vocals. And then Fire in the Belly is just this smack you better get up and dance at the end of our album. Um, <laughs> which is, is not expected at all, but a really cool like callback to Anti-Fragile if you were going through the whole track list. Um, what an insane album. <laughs> What an insane album. Like I said, uh, we're going to do a track ranking, but it's not going to be a comprehensive track ranking because uh, it's going to look really weird because I refuse to order the other songs with these because I just haven't listened to these enough. And because, like I said, Anti-Fragile is my song of the year last year, so I would have to, I'd have to do some, some Kill Your Babies type. I'm not, I'm not feeling that today. Um, so we are just going to rank these, burn the bridge through fire in the belly. Um, I like everything, first of all. So if you're new to my album reactions, uh, I typically use green pen to notate my favorites or almost favorites. Blue pen for mez, like, uh, I'll listen to it, but it's not a skip. Red pen for skip. You notice all of these are liked? No mez, no skips at all. Not even anything remotely, slightly touching anywhere near a skip, or even a mat. I just like everything at least. Uh, I love, love, love some of these things. I like, 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 like a lot of the, like all of them. Um, so it's only green pen and then the white pen for numbering, of course. So uh, first of all, actual favorite, uh, I have to just say Unforgiven. I think it's just an unbelievable song. Um, yeah. I really enjoyed the B-sides for this. This bass drop in with just how they all sound on this is so untouchable. This is going to be the song the entirety of the industry is chasing for the rest of the year for me. Um, <laughs> in terms of me liking it. That's number one. It has to be. Okay. Um, almost my favorites. We got to give a nod to Eve Psych, which is just very cool. Wow. Uh, sexy club banger. Really sexy, sleek club banger out of nowhere. Using, obviously, the previous intro. That's so cool. That's so cool! Oh, it's a banger, the little strings. That's so cool. Um, and then... The other one to note that I love, love, love is Fire in the Belly. Absolutely, absolutely in love with Fire in the Belly. Shocked that it that it's on this album. Absolutely obsessed in love with it. We're gonna put Hot. Caliente. It made me move for like the whole 15 minutes or however long that I've been on that song. Um, insane. Absolutely insane. Dude, the way Chaewon sounds on that is so saucy. It is unfair that I, that I even have to deal with it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Um, really like the whole album. Burn the Bridge has some really cool stuff on it. Um, by far my favorite of their intros. So, now for ranking time. This is the tricky part, Okay. Number one, I think it is, I think it is still uh, Unforgiven, just song of the year for me. It's just so good. It's so good. Number one, first and foremost. Uh, number two is really hard between Eve Psych and Fire in the Belly. I think I give it to Fire in the Belly. Um, yeah, I really, that's my favorite B-side off this album. Maybe because of how I listened to it and just, I was not, on, it was not on my radar at all. Um, this is why I don't listen to any audio spoilers because I would have known this was coming. Um, I was so not prepared for saucy, dancey, uh, uh, <laughs> saucy, dancey Le Seraphim, but uh, really, really fun. Really fun. I don't know how Yunjin is speaking Korean, but still speaking Spanish at the same time. I don't know how that works, but she did it. Uh, it's insane. Um, 
Number three for me is Eve Psych and Bluebeard's Wife. Um, it's sexy, it's sleek, it's a club banger. That era of club bangers, I'm very, 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 very partial to. Um, yeah, I, I think it, it makes it feels like a late 2000s, early 2010 club banger to me, and that is incredible, and I love it, and I'm obsessed with it. Really cool use of the stuff from Hydra. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Then it gets really hard because I like all the other songs a lot. So I don't know how I'm supposed to rank them. Um, flash forward, like I said, at the start, I was worried about it getting too repetitive, but I really, really ended up liking it. Burn the Bridge is really cool. It's a really cool progression. Because so much of it is spoken or instrumental uh, instead of like sung, I think I'm going to give it last, but know that I really do like it. As far as me liking a spoken word type intro, that's about as much as I could possibly like it. Um, I really like it. I love the progression of it, the build in, but uh, I just not as much as the rest of this album. That's, fin that's fantastic. So uh, let's see, wait, one... Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's seven. So this is number seven. But it's number seven only because everything else is really, really good. Um, I actually, as an intro, I think it's an absolutely great intro. So uh, so we have now the battles for four, five, and six. Um, I think I'm going to go six on Fear Not in terms of just me enjoying it. It's a really cool emotional special song. It's really chill. I did like it uh, a lot. It's really pretty, but rock ballads are never going to be. It's not as some. It's not something I'm going to actively seek out and listen to the same way that I will the rest of this project. I think. Um, but it's a really pretty song. It's a really pretty nice fan song, and it's really cool. But I still am going to put it uh, towards the bottom. But like I said, I really like this whole thing. There's not a, even a man on this album. So um, that's number six. So but, so it's just, what do I like more? Do I like No Return or Flash Forward more? That's kind of the question, I guess. Um, I think I might like Flash Forward more. Which is wild, because at the like one minute mark, I would not have said that. If that's all I'd heard. Uh, no Return's really fun. Really, really fun. I love the jazz rock combo. Mm, no. No Return is ahead of it. I lied. I just lied. No, I just lied. <laughs> No, that's a really fun cadence. Okay, I lied. They're really, really, really close, but no return takes it. <laughs> you thought. Uh, no, but I really like this whole album. Start to finish. Um, by the way, La Seraphim still has no misses for me. Uh, it obviously will become more and more impressive the more songs they have, but very rare is the group that has zero songs I dislike. Um, that's still true of La Seraphim. I don't know how... Even Choices, which I would probably say is my least favorite La Seraphim song, because there's like some weird mixing stuff. I, even that, I still like. Uh, so genuinely, I think every single La Seraphim song I enjoy, every single one of them, which is just shocking to say to, for me, 100% accuracy, it's basically only Everglow. <laughs> like, uh, even my very favorite groups, like there's twice songs I don't like. I don't, I don't understand how La Seraphim have 100%. But hopefully they can keep it up. Uh, yeah, I've never heard of a Seraphim song I don't like. This group is so good. This album is so good. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. I love the Seraphim. I love the Seraphim. Um, what a special group, man. What an insane group. Uh, Unforgiven song of the year. Subscribe, turn the bell on so you don't miss my reactions to the stages from the comeback thing. Like I said, I'm going to try to put them on YouTube, but I may not be able to. So keep an eye on out for like community posts and I'll talk about it. Um, but I'm going to try to get them on YouTube in some shape or form. Um, sometimes M2 comeback shows are a little more lenient. Like I got away with the Kepler one with mask last year. 
Um, so th there's a few I can get away with. So we'll see. Maybe I can get it on YouTube. Maybe not. Um, but thank you so much. I love this album. I was not ready for Fire in the Belly. Holy. Uh, uh, let me know in the comment section what does your track ranking look like of the new songs. Uh, thank you. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And please remember, stay newbie. Thank you so much to everyone who has chosen to support me on Patreon. With special gratitude being extended to Daniel Reigns, Mia's Ribbons, Lucky 7 Gen, 42 Ariadna, Atsushi Ray H, Mushroomy, and Wookbook.